as the boss of the task, I have to say that you are culpable. However, the product sucked. Sammy, you're fired. I'm feeling sad because I, I really wanted to win some money for my charity, and I am feeling sad about that. But at the end of the day, the gold thing was my choice, and if that's what we lost because of, then I'm happy to wear that. I don't know if I deserved to be fired. I definitely think that part of the reason we lost was because of me, but I don't think it was just me. But then again, you have to fire one person, so <laughs> I took the rap for it. I think that I, I should have used my voice and not to sing. <laughs> I should have used my voice to speak up a little bit more. I definitely think that I should have maybe, you know, said like, you know, we should change everything around this colour. You know, we should change the whole concept. I knew as soon as we switched to the gold that it didn't match the Bare Beyond Beauty, but, you know, I should have backed myself and just gone with my first idea, which was literally, you know, the cotton kind of thing. But everyone kind of saying it's not enough, it's not enough, we need lace, we need, you know, things, we need more. I listened to that and I should have just gone with my first initial thought. Ronnie, can I ask you a question? What indicated that I don't want to be in this process? My observation on the day is that I felt that you wanted Beck to fail. Can I just say something? That is so... That is not OK to say. Yeah, Sammy. Go, Sammy. Go, Sammy. Go, Sammy. Yeah, she, that's my observation. No, but you suggested that we paint that, ourselves with cast paint, which is would toxic. would never ever do that as a person as well. She is here to win money for charity, and Beth's charity is about mothers and children. And you think she would sabotage that? I'm sorry, but that sounds insane. Yeah, I was saying to Ronnie to stop because he just kept going at her, and I was like, I think that we get it. Like, you know, you don't kick someone when they're down. Like, you know, it, it was enough. My strategy going into this was be myself, always be fair, always just be honest and be me. And I think that I've done that. You know, at the end of the day, I've been brought up to, if you've done something wrong, you go, I've done something wrong. You wear that and that's how I've been in this show, in this competition. And that's how I have been brought up. If I can watch this back and my parents think that that's the girl that they raised, then I'm happy. I'm proud that I worked really hard. I'm proud that I, honestly like took on things that I would never usually do. Yes, I made some mistakes 100%, but I definitely gave it my all and I can sleep at night knowing that I put everything I had into this. My biggest takeaway from this whole experience will be that I've made lifelong friends and I have learnt that I got it back myself. That's a big lesson for me. I think the winner of Celebrity Apprentice is going to be Bronte Campbell, rightly so. I just think Bronte has everything that a winner of this show needs. She's courageous, she's fair, she's a hard worker, she's organised and I just think that she should win. I think she should, she deserves to win. My last words would be, I'm not fine, <laughs> I resigned. <laughs> Kidding, kidding, I got fired. <laughs>